just follow up on the extra shot on the transom and see whether that's required or not. Yep. Uh, and then basically the rest of the shots will be made up of the, um, the shots down the front of the vessel. So 65 and 68 here. No worries, Brad, I'll get right onto it. That'd be great, thanks, mate. All right, guys, I've just spoken to Brad, and what we need to get done today is the um, 10 x-rays on the transom area around the jet cones and jet ducts. Yep. So uh, what we need to do is get it done by lunchtime. Yep. Can All you right. make sure that happens? Yep. No sure problem. Dramas. I work for a shipbuilding company. We construct patrol boats, cruise yachts, and high-speed passenger and vehicle passenger ferries that are sold throughout the world. I've worked here for seven years as a welder, and have spent the last year as a welling planner. We have around 60 welders working here on each boat. They are coded as A class or B class, depending on their abilities, and I'll have to ensure the right person is working in the right area. Most of our welders come from TAFE and complete their apprenticeships here. But we recruit welders from time to time as well as develop the abilities of our semi-skilled trade assistants. As you're aware, we're looking for a B-class welder that's quite proficient in mm -hmm. aluminium. Yep. We'll get you down to the training bay, do a couple of runs, yep. just to see where you're at. Every new worker is assessed upon arrival. If they pass training, they start at B-class doing basic jobs until they learn the skills to move up to A-class. Looks like you've uh, actually welded a bit of aluminium before. Yeah, I've done a little bit. What we'll do is looking at getting you in on Monday for maybe half a day, just to carry on with a bit of training, get you up to speed, uh -huh. and then uh, we'll look at you getting on the boat. Welders have to consider the size of the material, its thickness, the weather, gas settings, and heat settings in producing a weld that is strong and aesthetically presentable. I worked as a panel beater for six years before deciding to move into shipping. Some of my skills are transferable, but welding steel cars is different to welding aluminium ships. This is faster and has to be neater. Luckily I have a steady hand and got the hang of it quickly. Drinking water and keeping fit is crucial. The warehouse can get really hot in summer and cold in winter. The welds are randomly x-rayed by an outside company to make sure our work complies with international standards. An 80 metre ship carrying 700 people at 40 knots in 2 metre seas undergoes a fair amount of structural stress. OK guys, well done. All those x-rays passed, done it on schedule as well, so congratulations. Cool, thank Cheers. you. We have a service department that provides assistance and maintenance for both our own vessels and those of our competitors. So I've travelled the world doing small maintenance jobs on our boats. Seeing the ship finally in the water is always satisfying. As a tradesman, it's important to choose a career you're going to enjoy for a long time. It inspires you to do your best, and then you can move on to bigger and better projects. <laughs>